cytotoxic T cells. Virus infected cells are killed by cytotoxic T cells. Cytotoxic T cells contain toxic granules. Their contents are transferred into a sick cell causing death. The majority of T cells circulate in the blood and lymph. Most are not cytotoxic and are considered naive. High concentrations of naive T cells can be found in lymph nodes which are scattered throughout the body. Shown here are naive CD8 positive T cells inside a lymph node. These T cells have the potential to become cytotoxic when activated. The body creates millions of variant T cells, each with the unique ability to recognize different pathogens. But T cells cannot recognize pathogens on their own. They first encounter the pathogen via another immune cell called an antigen-presenting cell. Antigen-presenting cells are one of the first cells to detect infections in our bodies. Their role is surveillance, inspecting their environment and taking samples back to nearby lymph nodes. Once in the lymph node, the antigen-presenting cells search for a T-cell that will recognize their cargo. By chance, this T-cell recognizes the cargo carried by this antigen-presenting cell. The recognition is controlled by molecular interactions between the cells. The antigen-presenting cell produces proteins called MHC on its cell surface. The MHC contains a virus fragment. The virus fragment is also known as a virus peptide. Each naive T cell produces a unique receptor that can recognize different virus peptide MHC combinations. The presence of the CD8 molecule defines this subclass of T cells. The receptors on this particular T cell bind to the virus peptide MHC complex. Co-receptor CD8 binds the complex. The receptors cluster. Eventually leading to T cell activation. The activated T cell divides and produces clones of itself. The cells gain cytotoxic capabilities as they grow. Chemical cues attract the cytotoxic T cells to the infection. The cytotoxic T cells specifically recognize the infected cells. The recognition is controlled by molecular interactions between the cells. The infected cell displays the same virus peptide MHC complex. T-cell receptor binding and clustering trigger the killing process.
toxic granules are transferred and kill the infected cell. Only infected cells display the virus fragment on their cell surface, ensuring that only infected cells are killed. <laughs> 